Happy Tuesday, everybody. Today is May 18th, 2021, and today's episode is a little different. We're coming to you live basically from a ground blind in the woods, turkey hunting, and this one is pretty epic. All right, all right. Welcome to the Fall Podcast. I am your host, Aaron Blasey, and today's episode is 161. Like I said earlier, today's episode is a little different. I'm cutting this intro a couple days after that actually happened, but today's episode is a live episode from a blind in the turkey woods that happened three mornings ago. I think three. It was Friday morning. So um, Tyler, my buddy Tyler Bentley and I, He's filming me and, you know, we're filming some turkey hunts. We're having a rough go at it last couple of days. And, uh, you know, a couple of days prior to this happening, I said, you know, we should try to record a podcast on a hunt. Like it take the headsets in with us in the blind and, you know, just hang out. You know, it, it, we really don't like what you call deer hunting turkeys, but these turkeys have been so, so difficult this spring. I feel like it was one of the only, not, not the only option we had, but it was a good option because we knew where the birds were eventually coming through. We just had to kind of wait them out. So, um, to put context of what really kind of went down, we had done a roost hunt that morning, set up on a bird, hens came across the field, took them away from us. So we were like, okay, mid morning, let's go sit in this blind for an hour, hit the call a couple times and, and let's see what happened. And Honestly, when we went back to the blind, a bird started lighting up probably 100, 150 yards behind us. So we're like, okay, let's set up, got in the blind, got all the podcast stuff ready, and we recorded. And honestly, it was pretty epic. So you're going to hear everything live from what happened from when we hit record until we ended up ultimately killing this bird on a live podcast. It's pretty crazy. So you are going to hear some dead air here and there, but we do, we, we try to like narrate it through as the bird came in, he came in blind. So he was gobbling like crazy. You can hear him on the podcast. You can goblin, but he comes in from behind us. So we weren't able to see him until he was like four steps from us, comes right into the decoys. And then I'll just let you guys, you know, hear it, but it's pretty crazy. We, we try to talk about other stuff, but we kind of get cut off because of this bird. But it was really cool. I don't know of anybody else that's ever done this. Um, a lot of people might think this is a stupid idea or really cool. I personally thought it was really cool. Um, it was a perfect scenario, and maybe this might be a new way of doing some podcasts. Here we go. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe in the Whitetail Woods we do one this year. I don't know. But uh, that's today's podcast. With that being said, I do want to say thank you to everybody out there for all the downloads, all the support. Please go to iTunes and leave a five-star rating and leave a written review. Let me know if you guys like this or if you didn't like it. I mean, we are kind of whispering in this. You know, as the bird gets closer, we get a little more whispering, but um, it might be irritating to you guys. I don't know. I, I listen back to it. And I'm like, this is like so cool. And maybe it's because it just happened to me, but I felt like I was actually back there in it, like at the edge of my seat kind of thing. Um, also the video to this is, is already live as well. So if you go to our website, I am humanimal.com, go check out the stories, 989 gobbler club, it's going to be on there. So you'll be able to see a shortened version, um, of the podcast, but basically with visual as well. So you'll be able to see that also. So go check that out as well. Uh, I guess that, with that being said, let's get right into this, this podcast. I interview? No. I mean, BS session, live hunt, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get into it and uh, let's have some fun. All right, everyone. Welcome back to an episode of the Fall Podcast. Today is a little different. You gotta... Okay, I'm going to apologize. We are whispering. I got Tyler Bentley with me. We are in a turkey blind and we thought it'd be cool to do a podcast in a turkey blind. Um... And, you know, possibly kill a turkey live on a podcast like this. And let me just kind of set the stage of what's going on right now. He is hammering right he now. He is hammering. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Probably not. But we've got a bird. We've got two birds that are just hammering behind us. 
and I feel like he's coming in. Um, so right now it's 7.25 in the morning. We got a roost hunt in this morning. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit normal yeah, until, he, right. until he gets a little closer. Yeah. <clears throat> we got a roost hunt in this morning, and uh, we actually had five hens come out and kind of block us. The, the Tom was coming in, and uh, they came out and literally like swooped him up from from us. So we were like, well, let's go back and sit in one of the blinds. We're on my family farm. We had a bird goblin this morning way in the back, and we're kind of in the epicenter. We're right in the middle um, where everything kind of meets. We got a full strut decoy out. We got a lay down hen and a feeder hen, and uh, we're here. It's we're podcasting in a ground blind. <laughs> dude, goblin. dude, he is hammering. So, a lot of people might think this is stupid, or you know, why are you doing that? Taking so much crap to the blind. Well, I just thought it'd be cool and different. So, as you guys are hearing this throughout the next half hour, hour, you might be able to watch because we do have a GoPro going in the blind right here. Um, back on us, but Tyler's filming me as well, so... There's this, a lot of stuff in the blind. There's a lot of stuff going on. But, I don't think this has ever been done, so I think it'd be cool to be the first ones to do it. That'd be pretty <laughs> sweet. If this plays out, this would be pretty cool. So he's gobbling right now, and it, just to kind of get where my head's at, he's gobbling like crazy right now. I don't want to call too much. I just want him to let... I just want him to know that we're here. So I'm going to do a couple soft purrs, maybe a little yelp, and then just shut up for 15 minutes or so. And you'll, you'll, you'll hear the bird get closer and closer because I'm going to talk like Captain Obvious here. That bird is gobbling because he's looking for a hen. He is looking for a mate, and he's saying, come over here, come over here. And I'm yelping, saying, you come over here, you come over here. So I'm going to play hard to get, try to, so... I'm going to do a little uh, Yelp session with a couple purrs and and we'll get back to the action here. So you might hear some breaks. Sorry, you just have to bear with us. This is just something different. A little bonus episode. So here we go. He's hammered. <laughs> he's not far off. No, he's not. He's he's probably within a hundred yards, honestly. But he's behind us. We need him to loop around. We're, in we're front gonna of kill us. a turkey on a podcast right now. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I really hope so. I'm sorry, guys, that we're whispering. That's just the nature of it. So we'll see, though. I, I wanted to, Tyler's on here. He, he, Tyler's been on the podcast before. Um, he's part of the rise hunt guys um he's been on a couple podcasts and he's been gracious enough to come up and film me and try to get something done here we had a heck of a day on tuesday yeah we did (laughs) that was a fun day we did have a fun day and we'll we'll elaborate more on on that day later not not today but um i don't know man how's been how's the experience been with me i guess hunt with me it's been good it's uh <laughs> don't lie <laughs> i don't know it's uh it's fun we're definitely uh having a blast chasing these birds around it's nice that we're getting into may now seems like these birds are getting a lot more riled up than they normally were you know the first couple of weeks of turkey season it was pretty slow hunting and uh it seems like it's definitely picking up now yeah i agree i mean it's today is may 14th and honestly we haven't had a good roost hunt all year you know tuesday we had we heard like 400 gobbles that was crazy crazy. i've never heard heard a bird gobble that many times in the tree yeah he's still hammering back there i think he's literally just doing spinning yeah doing figure eights like turkeys do (laughs) yeah no i i we we're, we're finally getting some warmer weather um this morning it's like 40 degrees instead of 25 it was a beautiful morning this yeah. morning dude it's just been the clear best skies morning. yep we actually this morning we came up to my cabin and parked where we normally do and uh as we're walking back 
to where we wanted to set up, a hen flies out of the tree. I've never, I've hunted this property. He's hammering. I hope they can hear that. <laughs> you guys probably cannot hear that. I'm just going to keep saying he's hammering every time yeah. he gobbles. There he goes again. He's hammering. <laughs> But, uh, but we we walked under a hen, and honestly, she was only roosted sixty yards from the cabin. Yeah. Probably. And I've in all the years I've hunted up here, you know, man, he is goblin, yeah. goblin, goblin, goblin. Um, I've never seen a bird roosted right there. It was just crazy. Um, so that was kind of discouraging. But then we walked back to where we're sitting right now, and the bird that we were gonna go after is was lighting up in front of the cabin so we had to hurry up and go up there and set up in the field and it just the hens really for a lack of a better word cock blocked us they did they, did. they went right to them i was like what are you doing <laughs> don't go that way yeah it's it's a beautiful morning though we've got a bird goblin you know and when we were set up in the field this morning there was a bird hammering in the back and he was a throaty throaty bird like he'd be those deep, caw, 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 caw. Yeah. you know it's almost like a pause in between his gobbles you can tell like a jake he's like kind of higher pitch mm -hmm. real quick a quick gobble quick yeah. gobble this thing's like caw, 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 caw. yeah okay he hasn't gobbled in a little bit i almost want to hear where he's at i feel like he might be on the move he's gonna pop up at five yards right here. i know it <laughs> he can't see very good and he's like behind us too so i know it little pause here in the action oh, oh he's still back there he's throaty this is sweet i hope this happens for everybody out there listening and hopefully our whispers are not annoying to you guys he's gobbling he is gobble 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 <laughs> i feel like if we had a shot we could i got coffee every time he gobbles we, we gotta take a shot <laughs> i got i got water I drank my coffee in like five minutes this morning. Oh. <clears throat> We're slow playing them. Oh, yeah. Slow playing them. Keep them guessing. Yeah. I want to talk about this call I got right here. This is Tyler's call. And the reason why I got his is because um, I have managed to break two pot calls in about 17 days. And I don't have a pot call, and I want to order this call, and Tyler had it, and I've been using it. It's a back 40 buck calls. Yep. So explain a little bit about these guys. They're yep. Michigan guys, right? Yep, they're Michigan guys. Alex shoots uh, 3D with Brennan. Uh, he hand makes those calls. They're like 100% made like in Michigan. <clears throat> I'm not sure where he's making them, but they're very nice quality calls. You can tell how good it sounds. Yeah. I didn't tell you anything about it. You just picked it up, start calling. And yeah. You're like, Whoa, what yeah. is this call? Um, he it, makes deer calls and turkey calls, and you can tell they're nice. He's, he's coming. Hammered. He's coming. I feel like he's getting about five yards closer every three minutes. The thing I like about a slate call is the ease of use. Like, yeah. if you can pick one up and just, you know. Like. That thing chirps. Yeah, it does. It sounds good. This is a light, too. I'm not, I'm not calling on it very hard. And I'm not a good caller by any means. Gobble. Ooh, that sounded closer. Gobble again. Oh yeah, he hears it. He is responding to every call. But these calls are really cool. I gotta order one. Yeah, they're they're nice. Uh, I'm being <coughs> I'm being a I'm being a bad friend and I'm just mooching off all the Tyler stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, you got you gonna bring your camera gear and are you hey, gonna bring a chair, <laughs> bring your calls. Yeah. Oh, and I need you at my house at four AM. I know you live an hour away. <laughs> so if you just get up at like midnight <laughs> No, at least, at least we're, you know, we're on the birds and we're seeing birds and hearing them. And I know. Listen, <coughs> he's going to call. Yep, there oh, he yeah. goes. He gobbled off of that crow. 
you're gonna hear me scratch this call a little bit here. So the first couple years I turkey hunted, I didn't know that. You had to oh, off yeah. them up? Yeah, I had no idea. That's, I'm just being honest, I haven't turkey hunted that long. And um, when I figured that out, I was like, oh, I kind of felt stupid. Yeah. yeah. rough him up a little bit nice little new little palette I like to I don't know how if, if this is I don't think this is new knowledge but I like to rough up my striker too oh yeah you know yeah check this guy out that's kind of like same deal you got oh yeah that's cool but this has got like sandpaper nice and it's got the scotch right pad in there oh and sure there's for the striker you stick the striker in there and whammy dude He's still gobbling back there. So I think they discontinued this little piece. Night and hail made them. And it's nice because it like slides in there. It's compact. That's sweet. I just leave it in the turkey vest. There's some chalk in there. That is sweet. Mine here. <coughs> so if you're watching on YouTube or whatever, wherever we put this. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Tyler's. My deal is a primo steel. And in the end, it's got this. And then chalk. Chalk. And then uh, it's got two rough sides. It's got like for the slate, and then uh, even a rougher side on this. Nice. Both same concept. Essentially same thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Man, what should we do here? We should uh, should we call to him? I think he just he's wanting us to come to him. He is. I hope the audio is good on this because we can't we hear the audio, so we're literally. That's why we look like a couple elves. We look like a couple of dillweeds. <laughs> <laughs> Headsets and a blind. Camera gear everywhere. Cords oh, yeah. everywhere. We're going to be a little frazzled when we <laughs> pop out. I'm like 50% sure my gloves are laying where our first setup was. Oh, really? Yeah. Cause I don't know 50 percent's not That's not, not very, great not very high, yeah. Maybe they're at the truck. I don't know. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, we're just hanging out in a blind two dudes. Turkey hunting, but I'm so fed up with turkeys right now. <laughs> I just wanna get the job done and yeah. be over. Yeah. When it gets this late in May, you just you're over it. Yeah. Let's talk about that a little bit. Like May, first of all, I gotta hear where this bird is because he could be coming in silent. He could be moving. Hang on. sequence either sounded terrible okay you're, you might hear a little quietness in the podcast now because I don't he, he very well could sneak up on us he could be coming right now There he is. There he he is. gobbled. Okay. Same spot. He's Sounds in the like same spot, yeah. We don't want to be sitting here chit-chatting all loud yeah. and walk out at five <laughs> feet. <laughs> anyway, back to what we were saying. Um, hunting birds this time of year, it's, for a couple of reasons, it's difficult. I mean, we're up at my family farm right now, and we've already had four guys kill toms up here on 218 acres, and... Um, there you gobbled again. In some of these sets, one they doubled, and there was four times in one group. So two times saw their buddies die. Yeah. And hesitant come into, you know, they're edumacated. Edumacated. They are. I stole that phrase from you and was using it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> they get edumacated real good, they real quick. Educated. When you watch your homies die, you know, you don't forget that. Man. What a hairy... And Lloyd, he just <laughs> fold right in front of you. 
Oh, jeez. That's the tough part, but I will say if you can find birds. Did we just lose video? We, we might have lost the YouTube video. Which is, it's whatever. We've got the audio. It's froze. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you can find a bird in a field right now and you can kind of get in, we talked, you and I have talked about the bubble. Yeah, yeah. yeah get Turkeys in the have bubble. this bubble. You know, I typically think it's around 80 yards, maybe 60 to 80 yards. If you can get within that, goblin still. If you can get within that, and that bird can see your decoy out there, like yeah. he's gonna commit. Yeah, you know, it's one thing to hear it, but have that sure. visual visual confirmation. You know, when you got a decoy out there and you're you're in that bubble and they see it, mm -hmm. then they feel threatened. Yep. they feel like they are almost obligated yep. to do something. Would you just throw the turkey call? I did. I just dropped the turkey call. <laughs> Made a loud noise. Let's see what we got here. Do another call. I should do it right out the window. Oh, oh our video's back randomly. <laughs> He's oh, got yeah. one. He's still got one. <clears throat> this is what I hate because me as a turkey hunter. I'm not a big blind life guy. Yeah. You know, I have killed a lot of birds in a blind with a bow. Um, he's still got one. But, like, hearing that bird gobble, I want to go right at him. Right yeah. Now. I just want to get out and go. But I think we need to, I think we need to slow play him here. They say curiosity kills the cat. So yeah. I wonder if that crow will get him to gobble. Nope. And that's the thing, like, right now I want to hear him gobble. Everybody wants to hear him gobble. That's, like, instant gratification. Like, oh, you called, they gobbled. But if I can just get it through my head, if I could shut up for 15 <laughs> minutes, he'll probably cut 30 yards, if not come in here. Like, nope, didn't gobble. If you hear, yep, there he gobbled. Yeah. If you hear me go, Hup. It's because a crow went off or something. <laughs> so. Yep, gobble again. He's literally gobbling at everything. Yep, crow calls, shot gobble. <clears throat> I feel like he's by himself. It seems like it. I mean, we saw a lot of hens this morning, too, up front. Yeah. They were in the far back of the property now, so he yep. very well could be by himself. I'm a, I don't know if it's Gobbles McGee that we called Gobbies, Gobbles McGee or if it's that throaty guy from this morning waving the back and he's just making his way forward. I don't know. Man, what a beautiful morning, though. It is a beautiful morning. Nice, clear <coughs> skies and... It got pretty warm yesterday. It got up to 60, 60 mm -hmm. degrees here in Michigan. And Today it's supposed to be like low 70s is a high. No kidding, even yeah. nicer. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully today we'll be hunting all day if we don't get it done this morning. And I got a few properties we can drive around to. And good thing about today is it's not windy. Yeah. The last couple of days it's been windy. So if you, you know, we like to walk around in the woods and hit calls and just try to strike them up midday. And you just can't hear shit when you yeah. do that. Today as calm as calm could be. He gobbled there again right there. Yeah. yeah. The first two days we've turkey hunted, it's been frigid. Cold. The one day we had snow. It was snowing yep. on us. Like 25 degrees. I'm like, what are we doing <laughs> out here? <laughs> I agree. It's been cold. He's, he's got one. I think that's Gobbles McGee. It's really got to be, dude. I've never, I mean, I've turkey hunted a good amount, but I haven't heard turkey. He's still got one. <laughs> <laughs> haven't heard a turkey just sit there and, and quite quad gobble like four times rapid fire, like with no spacing. Just, yeah. gar, 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 gar. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> if Everybody that's listening to this, if you have a drink, there he gobbled. If, I, if we say he gobbled, take a just drink. take a drink. It's a good drinking game. 
He gobbled. We should have mentioned that at the beginning. He gobbled. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's too late, though. He ain't shutting up anytime soon. No. He gobbled. <laughs> the good thing is, if he just sits there and spins after a while, the curiosity will get the best of me, and I'll need to go and investigate. He's still gobbling. I wish you guys could hear this. You probably can't. He's probably, I'm going to say, within 100 to 150 yards behind us in the timber. Timber gobblers. Timber muppets, we like to call them. <laughs> timber muppets. <clears throat> so I, I don't like to sit and hunt turkeys like deer, typically. But yeah, I, that's what we're doing. I, I think <laughs> I think we're uh, pretty same in that aspect that we're kind of impatient turkey mm-hmm. hunters. Like, if something ain't happening in 10, 20 minutes, like, make a move, get up, do something different. Yep. But I know some buddies that'll just go hunt them like deer and sit in a blind all day. I'm like, man, I don't know if I like turkey hunting as much as you do. I got too much stuff going around in my life to just sit all day in a blind, not for a whitetail. <laughs> right. If they had horns on their head, it'd probably be a different story. I don't know when the last time is I called, probably three minutes ago, four minutes ago, and I already want to call again. <laughs> it's almost like addicting that, like you said, instant gratification when yes. you call and he replies. Okay. Yep. We know where he's at. But the thing is, what he's doing is he's just sitting there spinning, gobbling back at us saying, no, 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 you little, you little succulent little hen, you come <laughs> over to me. That's what he's saying. Yeah, as my dad would always say, you just got to sound succulent. Succulent. Sound more you succulent. play hard to get, too. Mm-hmm. That's the other thing. Yes, you do. Got to play hard to get. Our, this decoy set looks really good, though. It does. Have you got a shot of that just so we can pop it up? Yeah, I think I did. There's a, I, got, I got three Avian X decoys. I'm a big Avian X guy. I've got... Uh, the full strut tom and i put a real fan on him i got a lay down hen and i've got a feeder hen um out and realistically no rhyme or reason i guess i like having the lay down just because if a tom does come in and see that that my decoy is about ready to mount there's a gobble mount a lay down you know it'll be more apt to come in and try to beat him up yeah uh that tail fan you got on there is obviously a real tail fan too it's not one yeah. that came with your avion x yeah which is uh gives them a little bit more realistic that's the bird i shot last year on this farm oh cool mm-hmm so that's cool yeah see i'm getting quiet because when he's not got one you get nervous of course I he get had. nervous like he's coming in behind us If this does happen while we're podcasting, you're going to hear, because I go in straight blackout mode, you so could, you're going to hear the real, the AB. real, <laughs> the real shit. You're going to hear it. I hope you guys hear it. I'm like a little kid in a candy store, to be honest with you. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Dropping a fresh battery in the camera here. Tyler, let's talk about, I want to hear this turkey gobble, but I want to talk about your camera setup because that's a question I get a lot, is camera setups, and we can talk about what we're filming with today. But I'm trying to hear this bird gobble. I honestly, like in my head, I have a picture that he is dino running to us right now. He he very well (laughs) could be. We've seen it happen the other day. Yes. It's cool, man, when they... Their demeanor changes and if they're Aaron, trans almost. Yeah, I remember if you uh, have the audio, I was like, Aaron, he's running. Run, Aaron, <laughs> he's he's running. They're both running. <laughs> it's cool when they do that. It is. And that's what they look like too, like a dinosaur just running, yep. just boom, 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 boom. Like a T-Rex with no arms. Yeah. I think that was a gobble there. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Yeah. I can't confirm that. Don't drink yet. I can't confirm that. Hey, I said gobble. <laughs> <laughs> so Tyler's got a couple cameras here. We got two tacked cam cameras. No, we one of them is a 5.0 and the other is a 5.0 wide. So the wide is going to be pretty similar to like a GoPro. Okay. It's got that real wide angle. 
um, shoots 4K, everything that a GoPro does. The one that you got mounted on your uh, Winchester there, that one's the regular Tacticam 5.0. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yep, so that one's going to be a little bit... He is he's, really he's, close. He's, he's, he's coming. coming. He's like 50 yards out. He's oh, coming. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. See? He was. He Dude, was he coming. Was. He was clearing ground. All right. Oh, my God. You can feel him on my body. I'm turning back to camps on right now. Yeah. He was so close. Okay. You're going to hear us. We're going to get quiet for a second. We're going to get quiet. He's coming. He is fast. He's coming. He's coming. This bird's going to die. You ready, AP? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to come right down he's this trail. He's going to come right here. down this trail. We're going to have to be real quiet here for a minute. If he commits to those decoys, let, he's him, so close. let him beat him up for a second. Yeah. We'll get some pre-roll on all these cameras. We have both tacticams running right now. The one on your gun and the one that's in the set. GoPro is also recording, so we got three cameras on right now. He's coming. It sounds like he's coming from behind me. Oh, I heard him drumming. Did you? Yep. <laughs> I know he's coming. He's close right now. I hate not being able to see him. He's. I, I heard him drum again. We can hear him drumming. Turn your radio dial up. Oh yeah, oh. he's like 20, 30 yards out, buddy. Get ready. He's, he's coming. Careful with that gun on the window. He might see that movement. I can hear him drumming. Yeah. I'm gonna see him way before you. Yeah. Probably. So I'm gonna have to be real careful with my movements. I can hear him. He's drumming like crazy right now. He is drumming like crazy. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Do you see him? No, he's right. I can hear him straight behind you. Safety's going off. Are you filming? Not yet. He is drumming like crazy. Oh my gosh, he is so close. We cannot see him. I can hear him walking. Here he comes. So I'd say he's 10 yards out. But uh, he's a little farther. 20 maybe? Yeah, he's 20. You can feel him drumming though. Yeah. If he doesn't commit to these decoys, I'm just, yeah. Well, we're gonna make a plan. We're gonna spin around or something. I'll He'll commit. He can see the decoys right now. The audio is going to get overmodulated if this happens. Just fair warning. He's right to my left. Yep. You're going to see him in no time. Nope, he's still back there a little ways. and kill range behind the blind right now. Yeah, I, we could kill him if we were turned around. I can hear him drumming still. Man, he's not committing. He's sitting there about 20 yards. I can still hear him drumming. He's getting closer. He's right here, dude. I honestly think he's right here. He is so close. You're going to see him. He's right here. I feel like he's right behind me. Yep. Here he is. Ten, ten feet or closer. You're going to be able to see him in no time. Yeah, we're ready. One of the tacticams turned off or something. I think it's this one. It's okay. alright. You just let me know when you're ready. Alright. If he, if he comes into the decoy. Just be on him, because yep. when I get him the first chance I can shoot him, I'm going to shoot him. Yep. Come on, buddy. Keep coming. Come on, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Can you see him yet? No. He's so close. I can feel his drumming. There he is. I'm on him, buddy. Yep. He's in the decoys. He's getting on the hen. 
Are you good? I'm good, buddy. I got whatever you're ready. I can't move. He's in the decoys. Shoot him. Pop up and shoot him. Got him. Bingo. Just <laughs> hold him over, dude. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That were overmodulated. Who cares? Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. We just killed a turkey on a live podcast. No way. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, buddy, you don't even know. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> what just <Dude>. happened? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome, oh Josh. Let no me get this way. audio right right here. No way. That was 37 quick. 37 minutes. That was quick too. 37 minutes the recorder says right now from when we sat down to when he was gobbling like crazy and it, and it worked. <laughs> We just slow played him. Dude. I can't believe that. Can oh happen. my gosh! Oh my gosh! He he caught dude, me. Dude, he came in quick. He yeah, douche, right there. What. And he came right down that trail like we thought. He got on top of the hen, the lay down hen, and just smashed him at like he, six yards. He came in so fast that when I was turning the tripod, he was out running the frame. I, know. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Well, when you you went like this, like quick, I'm like, oh my god, he's coming. And wow, I could feel him drumming oh, on my body. You oh went, oh, gosh. he's right here. I felt it. Oh my gosh. Right here. Where is my shell? Did it hit you? Right here. I think it took it right to the forehead. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Winchester Longbeard XR right there. Wow, dude. 37 minutes from when we sat down and hit record because he was gobbling as we're walking up the trail before we even got in the blind. He was gobbling. I know I got this stupid headset on. You're good. But and it I, is and what I got the full telephoto on. So <laughs> it's some funky footage. It is but what it is. That's still running, I think, right? Yeah, it is. Oh. And we have some Tacticams going, the GoPro going. Yep. He is smashed, dude. Lights out. I said, pick the gun. I'm going to kill him, dude. He, <laughs> he started to get a little spooky. It just You just got to do it. Oh, his head got so red. Oh, it did. He's just. He's done for. He he was a little spooked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out to you though. Remember the two birds that we had Tuesday? The one that had the weird, the shorter beard. Oh yeah, that's him. Is it him? Okay. Yeah, that's okay. him. Because he's got that wing feather that comes out. You're like, man, that oh, yeah, one's got on that, that weird wing. That's him. Okay, yeah, it's gotta be so him. We just saw that bird the other day. Yep, we got film of him. He's dude, done for, dude. Lights out. I cannot that's believe <laughs> that just happened. Oh, we had this goodness. idea on. Tuesday, when we were driving around, we were like, why don't we do a podcast from the blind, and how cool would it be to kill a bird on a podcast? Yes. I was like, how's that going to work? We're going to have to whisper, and <laughs> let's, let's just try it. Let's just try it. <laughs> I mean, nobody's done it. Well, we just did First it. First try, 30 minutes, dead bird right there. <laughs> oh, dude. my gosh. That footage has got to be awesome. Oh, he's at, money, dude. He's at, how far is that hen? Seven uh, yards, maybe? So, my, this is a 45 to 175. Yeah. I wasn't zoomed, and he was full frame. <laughs> <laughs> so we were getting ready to talk about camera setups. So yeah. I guess we'll have to do that later. But um, oh my gosh, that's it. That done was for. Super we are cool. done right there. Yeah. I got this stupid headset on. It's not even over my ears. <laughs> I just look like a weird dude. But wow, we just killed a turkey on a podcast. That just happened. That, that was live. Just happened. That was live. That literally just happened. Wow. It's uh. 804. 804 right now. I mean, they, they've been off the roost. They're flying down around 20 after 6. They've been off the roost for a while. He's out roaming by himself, you know. Looking for a lady, and he come right in, and he <laughs> found his lady, jumped on her back. <laughs> oh, and he did, too. Then he started pecking her head, and yeah. I'm like, hey, hey, easy there, fella. Yeah, easy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was so cool. Dude, how cool was that? I hope the audio is good. It's probably going to be over-modulated. I'm sorry, everybody, for your eardrums. They're going to go from, there. like, what is he saying, <laughs> to, boom, <laughs> us screaming as loud as we can. Oh, bonus episode right there, though. There's no hiding how much we love hunting, dude. We get that jacked up when yep. we're just like, ah, we're going to flip this blind over. We're so uh, excited. I really wish this mic was on my 
heart because when he gobbled, oh yeah, I'm like, oh your okay. your face okay. turned red. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> and then you could hear the, <laughs> and you could hear it, but you could feel it. Oh, you could feel it was like somebody just shifted a semi. Yes, Ooh. yes. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh, wait to see how fast he ran in right here, dude. He cleared this whole I know. all three windows. I was like, I couldn't even keep up with him at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes well i guess that is it this 40 some minute podcast i'm gonna wrap it up because we got a whole bunch of filming to do um but dude that was thank awesome. you for hey no buddy. problem dude that was so cool i'm glad i was here for it i know that was... all the work paid off this and my third are you film me three days now um my third time with a weapon well cool man uh i guess i'm gonna do a call to action here like i normally do in the blind um I appreciate everybody's support and all the downloads, like I say every week. Go to iTunes, leave a five-star rating, leave a review. And I guess I want you to write a comment on how you, if you like this. Because if yeah. you like this, we're going to do this more. I'll do it on the Fall Podcast. We'll do it on Humanimal. I mean, it's, it's you know, I got a recorder and two mics. So if you guys like this and think this is cool... Let me know if if it's dumb and you think it was the stupidest thing ever. Let me know as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you got we had the uh, GoPro running the whole time too. So yeah. you probably put this up on YouTube. Is yeah, what you're I'm gonna try to put it on YouTube probably for so, sure. So people at least listening. audio will be on iTunes. So, Definitely. Um, but if somebody could, wanted to see yes. what was actually going I'll put on, the whole here. hunt together. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> you'll get to see everything live and let it run. Thirty-seven minute, you know, hunt. Yep. Like, just run it. Yep. So we're gonna go get my bird, and I think that's gonna be the end of it. Awesome, dude. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, no problem, buddy. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks. And there you have it. I mean, what a cool experience. Sorry about the over modulation on the audio there when we shot and we yelled. I, I tried to dial it back real quick, but that's just what happens when you're whispering, you turn the dials up, and then, you know, it goes over modulated. So, I like I said in the beginning, you know, write us, DM us something, or go in there writing a written written review on iTunes. Let me know if you guys like this or not because I, I thought it was really cool. I'd like to do more of it. So tell me if you guys want to hear more of it or uh, see more of it, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I just thought it was cool. I want to hear from you guys as well. So thank you guys very much for tuning in this week. Appreciate it as always. And don't forget, next week we'll be right here on the Fall Podcast. <laughs>